All right, it's cut and buff day. That's the finished result on the tailgate. I tested on the tailgate first. And man, it just turned out really good. It's honestly surprising how much of the orange peel it gets out. All right, so showing how I'm cutting and buffing. I'm taking some uh, 1200 or you can use 1500. And what I'm doing is just for to show an example, I'll just go right here. You come in, Caitlin. Don't give me Can you see the? Mm -hmm. All right. So all, all I'm doing is just sanding down the high spots. This was why you got the different little ridges, different color in the paint. Better view of what I was talking about with the uh, different color. You can see the shiny black underneath. Then you just slowly sand it. until it's just solid gray. You still see a little bit of the specs right there. That's what you're going for is that solid gray so where you know there's no orange peel left. Another one you should probably use, be using a block for this, but I'm not and it's still working fine. And uh, <coughs> you come over here, I'll show you like that strip there. That's how it's turning out. And I've seen other videos uh, of professionals doing it and they have a lot more steps to it and you probably should do it that way but I mean my way's working <laughs> I'm not trying to discredit anybody I'm not an expert or anything but that's all I'm doing it's just wet sand it with some 12 or 1500 and then buffing it out but yeah we're just gonna keep working on it try to knock it out and we'll see y'all when we're done This is after the cut and buff. It's pretty, pretty damn slick. I'm proud of it. He likes it. Unfortunately, I'm not able to uh, do the whole truck. He's gonna pick it up from here because uh, between work and school, I just don't really have time to do it. So I'm gonna show my friend how to do it and let him finish it up. But yeah, that's the cut and buff process and the finish view. Let me show you the other side. Look at that orange peel mess. It's a dang mirror. It's pretty slick.